right, problem 23, we got homogeneous versus heterogeneous catalysis. Okay, so these um, terms are actually pretty simple. So if you have a reaction, of course, you're going to have reactants, right? If you're catalyzing a reaction, you'll have the reactants and you'll have your catalyst. Okay. And homogeneous, homogeneous, right? Homo means same, right? So we're talking about phases, the phases of your reactants and your catalyst. So what I mean by that is if your reactant is in a solid phase, if it is a homogeneous catalysis, then your catalyst will also be in solid phase. If it's in liquid, then it's going to be, your catalyst would also be liquid. And then if it's gas, then it's also going to be gas, okay? Heterogeneous, right? Hetero would be different, right? So if your reactant, let's say, is solid, or your reactants are solid, and your catalyst for some reason is in a liquid phase, then that would be a heterogeneous catalysis, right? Because they're in different phase. So one example that the book mentions is catalytic converters, where your reactants are in gaseous phase, and the catalytic converter itself is in a liquid, or sorry, not liquid, in solid, right? Your catalytic converter is solid. So in this case, um, the phases are different, right? So that would be heterogeneous. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this one. Um, hopefully that cleared it up a little bit.